It's so humid outside. Humid. I forgot my medicine. Oh, oh. oh I got my medicine. Good morning. Oh my gosh, it's all hot. But it's humid this morning in the valley and I'm wearing a sweater because I know that's the most, that's what I'll be the most comfortable in after my surgery. And I didn't get sweatpants, so I'm just wearing my leggings. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> and then, got no makeup on I look horrible no eyebrows this is how I look without makeup and it's ugly last night I couldn't sleep like at all um, because I kept thinking about the surgery and you know what the weird thing was um, you know how they say like you can't have any water after midnight or anything to drink after midnight eat or drink so I'm talking to you Portland oh, talking. <laughs> um, so I kept like my mouth kept getting watery like it kept salivating and then I was so afraid to swallow my spit because <laughs> I was like, I wonder if that's considered drinking stuff. <laughs> so, I was like afraid and they kept spitting it out and I kept getting up and after a while I just like brought the, the cup thing to, me, to the bed and I just kept spitting it out and I had a hard time sleeping. And then these were bothering me too. Because it kept sticking to me. I had to get my wristbands yesterday when I was at the hospital. And then um, I couldn't get this one wet. So I ended up wrapping it with plastic and then putting tape around it, like surgical tape. So they just kept sticking to my wrist all night and that's what was keeping me up as well. And I was like super nervous. Super nervous and anxious. But anyways, now we're headed to the hospital. And then uh, we're headed to the hospital. Oh my gosh. The best thing is when you can rub your eye when you had no makeup on. Oh, that feels so good. So my surgery got pushed back by an hour and a half <laughs> and the stripe by Oh um so I was saying my surgery got pushed back by an hour and a half. I guess there was an emergency surgery, so I'm the lucky chosen one to be pushed. So now I'm just waiting. Look at my cool. And then I told Cortland to bring my vlogging camera. And look 
like a mummy. no sleep last night like no sleep and I'm really tired but at the same time I was thinking I was like well they can put me to sleep so I'll catch up on my sleep then <laughs> we'll see what happens I was supposed to be the first one in surgery this morning and I'm one of the last ones of the first group because there was an emergency surgery yeah, and I'm the one that got bumped. They put the IV in my arm, and that part of my arm is cold. I guess it feels like they said they warmed it up and stuff, but that part of my arm is cold. So they gave me an extra blanket for my arm. <gasps> I'm sleepy. <laughs> and then. Yeah, I'm tired. I look so ugly without makeup. Look, I got no eyebrows. No eyebrows. That's why makeup is my best friend. Because I look like shit. I wonder if that's for the patient or the nurse. Oh my gosh, it's taking forever. What time is it, babe? 9-11. My surgery is supposed to be at 6.30. My legs are starting to ache. I had to pee really bad. It's a good thing I went again because I peed. So I got an update. The emergency surgery. The emergency surgery is over with. And then my doctor, my surgeon came in. She said that I'm next. So... I think they're just cleaning it and getting prepped for good old me. I'm nervous. Like, when I was waiting, my nerves went away. I wasn't scared anymore. And I was like, hey, I'm over it. I just want to go home now. But then now that I know that it's coming up again, now my nerves are back. And I'm, like, nervous, anxious, and excited in a weird way. But yeah, everybody keeps looking at me weird because I'm talking to my phone. Not my phone, my camera. <laughs> my sidekick. This is my sidekick. Yeah. He's been waiting with me all morning. He's going to be my nurse at home. He's gonna bathe me, change my diaper. Huh, babe? Quite on. <laughs> change my diaper. <laughs> like Kilo.
I feel so lightheaded and so dizzy. I feel really nauseated. Like I just, I throw up. I'm trying to throw up, but I can't. But I really, I feel really, really nauseated. Lightheaded, dizzy, nauseated, hungry, sleepy, all at the same time. So Carla wanted to give me some salad and some bread. I think I just need something in my stomach. I'm just so, so tired. I'm not tired, nauseated, I'm just really nauseated. I definitely need something in my stomach. Because, you know when you get that feeling like you gotta throw up from not eating? That's how I feel. My stomach is hurting. Not my nurse, my doctor, who's also my surgeon. Uh, she came and she talked to me. <clears throat> Apparently, um, with the surgery, um, with the surgery, she op she not opened me up, but she was inside of me and. Basically, I just have too much scar tissue. I have too much scar tissue inside of my body, my uterus and stuff. And she did the dye testing, and um, it's not, it's not open. So basically, my fallopian tubes are closed. She's 
and then she cried. And that was one of the main... That was like the main reason for the surgery. <clears throat> and um, she said that it, with my body the way that it is right now and stuff. <laughs> Like ever. <laughs> and it just sucks so much because <laughs> because all I want is kids. Not kids, but at least a kid of my own so they can never have them. <laughs> and I told Portland. <laughs> to the news it just sucks because <laughs> my heart's already broken and then I had to break his heart too because <laughs> because we'll never have kids together <laughs> my doctor told me that. she said that we could try to see another doctor to see if they could do something about it. Um, well, basically in the end too is that I had a cyst on my ovary and she wasn't able to remove it because there's just too much scar tissue. <laughs> and she said that <clears throat> I could see another doctor, another surgeon to see if they, they could remove it. But she said it's not gonna burst, it's not dangerous, but it is stuck there because of this the scar tissue and she said that um it's not cancerous, it's not dangerous if I left it, so <laughs> she said Portland I can have kids. I'm so sad. I really, I was really hoping that this surgery would work for us. possibility it's a possibility and then they said that there's no guarantees though and then at least at that point before the surgery it was a 50 50 chance but then now it's just no chance at all and i just i don't know i don't know <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. 
this mean to just I still want kids though. And <laughs> That's the part that hurts the most is knowing that they, that I'll, that it'll never happen for me or for Belly button has dry blood still. It's all hairy. Shit, that didn't. But you cleaned it. I did. Look, there's dry blood in it still. Yeah. And then there's like three of them, right? Mm hmm. So we're just recording this part um, just as a follow up from us leaving the hospital yesterday and my surgery um, basically I just want Corlin to give his response to the news of us not being able to have kids um, because yesterday I told him in the hospital I told him like what the doctor told me and like I was already crying I was already heartbroken over the news and then when Cortland came into the room and I saw him and then I told him, what did I say? I was like, I was like, we can't have kids. And when I said that to him, like I could just, I think it was, how did you feel when I said it to you? Because my reaction or my thing was when I first saw you and I told you like your, your face changed and you kind of like got sad. How, I know the doctor told you before you came in to see me, but... Yeah, when she called me, she told me that. Ow. I don't know, I just felt like a chill and it just burst in my body. And it just it's changed the whole outcome of the day. It just... I don't know, I just felt depressed, I guess. I still feel it. And, uh, yeah, it's just... That we gotta live with. Yeah. And it just sucks because we've been at this for like almost nine years now and just like finally getting an answer but then it's not the answer that we wanted, but we got an answer and it just sucks because it's something that we really, really want is we really want kids but it just we just can't have a kid of our own and it just hurts so yeah and how do you feel about adoption I don't give a fuck but I told you the person I just try to build our credit and just try to get a 
the house. Mm-hmm. I think it's more of an a point where I feel like Corlin's just more worried about me and how I'm gonna feel. Am I right? Yeah. Um. Yeah, I just don't want to get too depressed over the news and stuff. And I mean, in the end, I'm just really happy that we have an answer. And that's what I want to focus on more is um, now that we have an answer to move forward. Um, like I said, it's not the answer that we wanted, but at least we have an answer now. And then just knowing that I'm not going to go through it by myself, that we're basically in this together, right? So yeah, now it's, it's time to get on that kidnapping level. <laughs> So you see those memes with a white van? That was us. Yeah, <laughs> skinny area. <Mary. laughs> no, we're just kidding. <laughs> hey, he's all, I'm not kidding. <laughs> it's so funny because we always tell our our family that, and we're like, yeah, it's time to get on that kidnapping level. <laughs> Shut up. But um, anyways, we just wanted to follow up with um, my surgery and stuff yesterday and I'm out of work for the rest of the week. Um, I'm just really sore and like I had so much tenderness down below me and um, yeah, so but basically thank you guys for um, for those of you guys who did text me, follow up on me, check up on me and stuff. Um, I appreciate it because I didn't want to tell anybody and um, yeah and not even my family knows only like two people from my family know but um, anyways just thank you guys for your prayers if you said a prayer for us um, just just keep us in your prayer or yeah both of us because we're still going through this emotionally um, but we'll get over it eventually it'll take some time and I'm just happy that I have Cortland with me. And basically, I just want to say thank you guys for watching this video and for listening to me on my personal life, um, something that's really personal to me. But um, anything you want to say? You done? Yeah. Anyway, so we're done. We're going to go back to watching TV now. <laughs> Um, but anyways, uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Um, but then I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Say bye. <laughs>